Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are trying to continue on with the submarine yet again, because the new update is coming out very soon. So, let's go ahead and try and make this thing a little bit better today. Uh, I do actually want to try and make some, um, I want some control surfaces on the back, so, uh, I want to pitch one over here somewhere, probably the same thing on the other side. And I also want to actually add some vertical stabilizers as well. Probably to the top and also to the bottom. As well as that, I think we might actually do something with the windows, but I'm not entirely sure. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, I've actually got really bad hay fever, so I'm going to take a hay fever the tablet real quick uh, with my boiling hot cup of tea. So, uh, I don't know why this is in the video, but it is. So, oh. That was so hot. Okay, right, well anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it. So, get this, there we go, excellent. Let's go ahead and add the control surfaces first, because that makes sense. Uh, and then we're going to go from there. So control surfaces, uh, the small one, if I can actually fit this on properly, that would be excellent. I kind of want it to go into it, uh, at least a little bit, but I don't think we actually can. So delete that much there as well. Uh, there we go, excellent. And we're going to put it on both sides. Excellent. And there we go, that's probably fine. We're then going to actually do something with uh, these pieces. We're going to have them go directly to the middle of those, because why not? Uh, and essentially, they're going to go up like this. Uh, one further forward than that. There we go. Excellent. And this will be fine. Excellent. Delete this. Put this on. Do that up to there. Very nice. Delete all of these guys in the middle. And put all of these in instead. Wham. There we go. Excellent. That's actually pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually add this to there. Uh, but what we can do is add a rudder. Uh, and this should be fine. So attach this directly under here. Uh, we'll do it differently on both sides. So like this and like this. Excellent. And that should be good. Now, I've got hay fever, so this is going to be a bit of a stop starty video because I'm going to keep sneezing. Okie dokie. So this is going to make it even more difficult to do videos, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and put this piece on both sides so we can actually angle that bit. We'll also have that bit like that, and that actually does look A-OK. -okay. I am thinking we delete this, though, and we put that on instead because I think that makes it look a little bit better. We're then going to grab the entire thing, we're going to go ahead and copy it, flip it over, bring it to the bottom side, uh, and we're going to try and put it somewhere down here, which uh, is kind of interesting, I suppose. Um, yeah, we will actually put it right there. However, we want the things to be the same way, so let's press U, paste that there, excellent, take it to the other side, I believe it's on the outer one, yes it is, paste it there, merge this with this, merge this with this, and there we go. That somewhat looks okay. Kind of an interesting vehicle so far anyway. So I actually kind of like that. Now what we're going to do is I think I want it all weighed down a little bit more. So we're going to go with weight. Uh, we're going to add some weight blocks in the bottom uh, underneath the center of mass, which is actually about here. So we're going to delete that forwards to about there. We're going to put this in and we're going to try and lower down the center of mass. Uh, there we go. Is it heavier at the back or the front? I believe it's the back. So let's delete a bunch of this as well. And put that in there. And there we go. We spawn it in. So I want it to be low enough so that the propeller is actually in the water a little bit. I want the middle bit of the propeller in the water pretty much at all times. Uh, and that's not something that we've currently managed to do. Uh, which is a little bit annoying, to be honest. I could move the propeller down. But that's not really something that I wanted to do. So... Yeah, I want the propeller to be somewhat on show. Maybe I should move it down. All right, we'll move it down. <laughs> we'll do it. Grab the propeller. Delete this. Delete this one single section. Uh, put a little block in there like that. Get ourselves the propeller again. And whack it back in. All right, here we go. Bam. Excellent. So that's actually fine. That is that is actually A-OK. -okay. Uh, and that should mean that the propeller is now in the water from the beginning. Which indeed it is. Excellent. So now we should be able to actually drive this thing around. So I think we should give that a test. Honestly, I do think we should give that a proper test. So delete that and that. Get ourselves a motor, which is this thing. Put that right there. Fill this back in. Excellent. Uh, let's get ourselves a helm. Yes. Okay, just like this one. We'll actually put this really far forwards. Delete all of this and put it there. Excellent. So we can see out the sides. That is very good. Uh, a and D is going to control these guys. There we go. A and D's going to control those. Uh, w and S is actually going to go ahead and control these guys. And then up and down is going to control these guys. Oh, no, wait. Oh. Oh. 
I've done that wrong. WNS is going to control this. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Spawn it in. Give it ele un uh, unlimited electricity. There we go. Excellent. Let's go ahead and try and move it around. We might be able to put it underwater. At the same time, we might not. So we'll see. But anyway, let's go ahead and push W. It is, in fact, moving us forwards. Excellent. To be able to dive is impossible. It's not quite impossible, but it's very difficult. Uh, we are full of air, but it is moving, so that's good. Let's go ahead and add the weight to the outsides uh, and see if we can actually make it work properly. So spawner is what we want. Go ahead and whack that in there. Spawn it in. Let's go. It's going to be a little bit lower in the water now, which is good, I suppose. Get inside. There we go. Excellent. And go. I mean, I want to be able to dive underwater, right? But I currently don't have enough power to actually push us under. Ah, that's sad. <laughs> that's actually really annoying. Um, is there anything I could do to fix that? I believe there is. Uh, what we're going to do is delete this. Uh, grab this. Move it backwards one. Uh, delete the... No, this. Yeah, excellent. Get ourselves a gearbox. And whack that in, pointing towards the motor. Very good. Fill this in on this side. Same on that side. Um, make that three to one. Go. Okay, is this going to work? Oh, wait. Actually, no. I also need to reattach the uh, the thingamabobby. Okay, so this needs reattaching to WNS. Go. Okay, now it should work. Let's see what happens. Building a submarine in this game is extremely difficult. Uh, to get it working, like, very correctly. Making a submarine that looks like this to make it work, I would say a little bit more difficult. But, uh, here we go. We're gonna start moving. I need to blow my nose, but we're gonna try and start moving. And diving. I think we need more dive. We need more dive. Yes. Alright, how do I do that? Let's, uh, introduce a little bit more of a tank right here. There we go. We'll introduce it just by doing this. There we go. Send it that way. Put a little bit right here. Like so. Excellent. And then we'll do this on the top using one of these pieces. Woo! There we go. Good. So that's on both sides. We made it a little bit bigger, which means we should dive a little bit better. And that should be excellent. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It still wants to float more at the front, doesn't it? Look at that. It still does want to float more at the front. Kind of interesting. Very interesting. We are nowhere ne like we are not going anywhere near fast enough uh, as to what we need, but yeah, maybe we should just whack in a bigger motor and hope for the best. In fact, that's probably a good idea. Right, delete this and this and this, uh, and also this and 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 this, and put a motor in there. Let's go, motor. We're gonna go with the medium one. Whack it in. Clear all of this, and all of this, very good. We're going to fix all of this in. There we go, excellent. And that should be good. Alright, now we need this motor to work, so WNS it is, and off we go. This time it's going to be a little bit more dangerous, uh, and hopefully work a little bit better, so let's do it. Here we go. There we go. Alright, dive. Okay, underwater it works, excellent, we'll need some sort of system for, uh, let's try and do a jump, oh, hey, there we go, we'll need some sort of system for um, thingamabobby, for attaching ourselves to the ground as one, and also, whoa, I think we need a bigger ballast tank as well by the way, uh, for like an altitude hold, or a depth hold, depth hold, yeah, we need one of those. Uh, but so far, this actually looks pretty cool underwater. I do like it, so I'm happy with that. That's good. Okie dokie. So I'm somewhat happy with this. As you guys can see, I was just getting the thumbnail, and we just jumped it out of the water again, which is pretty awesome. Uh, what we will end up doing is we'll actually have some little legs that fall down, uh, so that when we get close to the bottom of the ocean, instead of actually having to, like, have neutral buoyancy, 
Um, whenever we're moving, obviously we can go up and down. Um, whenever we stopped moving, it will have a tendency to want to go back up to the surface. But we'll have loads of my goals on the bottom of this thing. So that we can actually dock ourselves to the floor. And um, that is how we're going to be able to get in and out of this vehicle. Now obviously that's not the best way of doing it. But it is a way of doing it. And I think that would be pretty cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that idea. I think it's a good one. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what actually happens now. I'm not touching it. It will have a tendency to somewhat take itself back up to the surface. Uh, which it is indeed doing. Because it's not exactly level. But uh, yeah, it should bring itself up to the surface. Very, very slowly. And that'll be cool. There we go. Excellent. It's not going to push itself quite out of the ocean. But uh, that works. Yeah. I'm happy with that. If I push this a little bit, can we make it level? I don't know whether this will work, but I think it might. There we go. Yeah, it does. Kind of, I think. I don't know. Um, but there we go. That's actually pretty epic. Very nice. So now we've got it moving. Let's go ahead and take it back to the actual workbench. Let's see what this looks like. Interesting. Uh, and what we're going to have to do is add pumps to this thing. Uh, and the other thing is, I kind of want it to weigh more at the front even more. Because honestly, like, it weighing a little bit less just doesn't work for us. We need it to weigh a lot at the front. So, what we'll do is, we'll attach this piece to here. And we'll do, we'll do this. Actually, no. What we will do is this. There we go. Excellent. We'll do that. Uh, we'll delete this. We'll try and attach both of these together by doing this and this. There we go. Very good. And what we'll do from there is we'll actually attach these guys onto here and also here. There we go. And attach that to there. So we'll still be able to get to the helm. We'll still be able to get off the helm and walk backwards. Uh, however, the actual... Um, amount of water we can hold in our ballast tanks is going to go up by quite a lot. So there you go. That's a pretty good idea. Nice. Looks a bit more futuristic too, so I actually like that. Let's want it in. Let's see what it looks like now. Should weigh a little bit more at the front. It, it does. Excellent. And that's perfect. Good. All right, so that's pretty much level as we need it, which is awesome. Uh, we've, uh, we've changed it a little bit. I haven't changed the windows, but I don't think we actually do need to now. Uh, realistically, if I did delete these, um, in fact, hang on, let's save this as it is. So, cave submarine, there we go. Delete the windows, as they currently are, and get ourselves a another window. Uh, we want the diamond ones, and I don't know which one we'd go for, to be honest. By four, by five, I mean, that does look kind of interesting. In fact, that looks pretty cool, to be honest. So, if we could actually attach these in there, that'd be amazing. Oh, but then it makes it wider and I'm not so sure I want it wider to be totally honest with you guys I'm not sure I did want it to go wider because then we would just do this But then we've obviously got an issue right there with a hole. So let's delete this again. We'll go back in here We'll get the diamond. Where is it? Okay, the diamond. I don't know which one uh, I think it is actually this one that we want, uh, but I'm not in oh, no, it's not it's not that one It is more down here. It's actually this one it's this one that we want, um, because it allows us to actually... Yeah, no, that's a good idea. So whoever suggested that, thank you very much. That is uh, muchly appreciated. Um, however, yeah, no, this is going to fit perfectly, actually. We can put that right there, which is good. And then we can seal the rest of it up like we already had it, which is perfect. So like this. And then we obviously need the, uh, the angled one as well, but the angled but bigger one. And yeah, there we go. So we've actually got more viewing now. That's excellent. Very good job. Nice. Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, let's go ahead and save it as it is now. There we go. I'm not so sure what we're going to do about the colors of this thing. I don't know what it's going to be. Probably like yellow. I think it's probably going to be yellow. Or we're going to do Nemo. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see about that situation. But um, yeah, if we make it yellow, it's a yellow submarine. I think we can make that look pretty cool. But I'm not sure. If we make it this color, no, don't think so. Uh, if we make it frantic red... I mean, that could work with some uh, white stripes, maybe, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it white for now. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. So, thank you guys very much for watching this video. We've actually worked out that it is actually capable of driving forwards. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Uh, we've added these fins. We've added the uh, the control surfaces to the back. We've lowered the, uh, the propeller down a little bit. And we've also changed the windows on the front. Which is everything that I actually wanted to do today. So, yeah. Anyway. 
Well, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any suggestions on what we can add to this thing, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Actually, before we do end, if you guys have made it to this point, if you guys want to see some different videos uh, on my channel, or on my, or done by me, I guess, uh, I'm making some GeoGuessr videos and some Prison Architect videos on my second channel, which is called Frantic Extra. Uh, if you guys want to watch those, um, go go find it. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.